All right, how much beer are we down to? We got a couple six-packs of beer, and we're almost out of margarita mix. Oh, boy. If they don't call this roadblock off, I'm going to go out of business. One road to this island, and they got to block it. Bunch of government buttheads. They're looking for illegal aliens. I don't care if they're looking for Martians. I want my beer stock back up. Hey. I say, hey. Hey, Jojo. Come back and see us again. No, is it a full moon or what? Jojo, hon, are you all right? Come on over here. Tell us what you got bothering you. What in the world is on your tail? Immigration, man. Oh, I thought you was legal. I was, till about three days ago when my visa expired. If they catch me on this island, they're gonna ship my butt back to the Bahamas. I know, I know, I know it's a problem. A problem? There ain't but one road in and out of this place now. We're being strangled here, ma'am. We're cut off. I'm dealing with it. And in the meantime, we're losing our shirts. That's right. Now, the federal government may mean well, but they don't understand our situation. I know, I understand. Though, look, this has nothing to do with us. This simply has to do with the illegal aliens, and we all recognize they're a problem. No. Listen, this is my home, too. I know how much this is hurting you. I've known most of you my whole life. But this will make our island a much better place in the long run. But in the short run, we're still headed to the poorhouse. Yeah. This is the sixth day that I've had charters canceled because of this mess. I promise I'll get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. And how soon as possible is that? Soon. Yeah, well, what if this six days turns into six weeks? How are you going to stop them? I won't let that happen. <laughs> we need answers. You should be on the phone with the senators, with the governor. We need somebody Me? to help us here. You seem awfully concerned for someone who has only been on this island for five minutes. Well, I guess I'm just a conk at heart. Good for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, no, I have a, a city to I run. Go. Go. I want to you on the plane. I understand. Thank you all for coming by. I'm dealing with it. It should be clear very soon. O'Neill, do something for me. What is that? Back me on this. No raging prose, no inflammatory editorials. This is a touchy situation as it is. I'm just going to do my job as I see fit. So am I. Gumbo, what are they doing? Look. Oh, my lord. Hey, hey, what are you gawking at? Girls, girls, what I told y'all about sunbathing naked out here, put it away now. Why ain't you working? Gumbo. How business? What business? Oh, man, what I'm supposed to do, start making up homebrew? Where the beatnik went? I don't know. Flew the coop, I guess. Like you seen a ghost or something. That's not a ghost he's afraid of. Jojo say where he was going? Mm -mm, just went, gone. Off faster than a prom dress. <laughs> Well, this is just great. No beer, half a bottle of rum, and a jar of pickled eggs. I might as well go fishing. I got plenty of bait. What are we going to do if he gets caught? Go visit. This is serious. If they catch him, they're going to ship him back to the Bahamas. 
You know, I hate to admit it, but I'm gonna miss that dreadlock behavior. I should have taken care of this beastly thing a long time ago, but he always would put things off to the very last minute. Hey, they got lawyers that can take care of this stuff. Yeah, very expensive lawyers. And here's the catch. If you can afford one of those lawyers, you can afford to stay in this country. I can take him offshore for a few days till this thing blows over. How do we know when it's gonna blow over? Well, there's gotta be something we could do. Yeah, you know what we can do? We can find him before the immigration officers do. for over an hour. I understand. Do you understand I've got to get going? I'm working on it. You're not the only one, okay? What the hell is going on here? Did you look behind the glove compartment? You have what must be over a hundred cars backed up on that road there. Eddie, do you know how long it takes to search a car bumper to bumper? You wouldn't believe it. He's right, Mayor. It's an art form. Well, does it have to be such a slow art form? Do you know where I found two Mexicans once? Twin brothers from Tijuana. I found one clinging to the rear axle, the other inside the passenger seat of a Chevy Suburban. Well, you've got to admire that kind of determination. Now, when do you think all this will be over? When the job is done. When is the job done? Look, lady, I'm trying to do my job. And yes, you're going to have a problem for a few days, but it can't be helped, all right? I have a responsibility to this community. Do you know what this traffic jam is doing to the tourism on our island? Well, we're very sorry about that, ma'am. No, I don't think you understand. Something has got to be done to get this moving now. I have no authority to change this operation. You'll have to talk to the regional director. And who is that? Well, it's still a vacancy in light of the change in administration. Who is in charge, then? Deputy Director Duffy McCormick. But you can't bother Duffy. He's on heart medication. Is there anybody I can talk to? You're talking to him. Now, can I please do my work? Can't you find nothing in there to help Jojo? I'm looking, I'm looking. Got to be something we can do. Well, people, I come to say goodbye. Jojo, where you hey. been? We've been worried, man. Ain't no need in worrying about me no more, right? I'll be sending your postcards from Bimini. And I won't be needing that no more, either. What are you talking about? You were doing great. You nailed that section on Grover Cleveland. Seamus, man, it don't matter. Now, me thank you for your tutoring. But I guess me won't be taking that citizenship test now, will I? You ever read your constitution? Yeah. No. You know, it's saying there that a black man was counted as three-fifths a man. Now, I'd like to know which three-fifths they're talking about. From here on up or from there on down, or maybe this part down there and that part up there, huh? Oh, I'm sure it doesn't say that anymore. Look, Seamus, if I need to know all this stuff, you people need to know all this stuff too, huh? Maybe we need to call immigration to come down here and ask you some questions. And if you can't answer them, maybe they need to deport you, yeah? To where, New Jersey? Look, Seamus, me just want to be a citizen. I'm here studying for the test. My visa run out, and now they're gonna send me back. So what's the big deal? They kick you out, you just come back in on another visa. Yeah, right, man. What do you think I got back there, huh? I got nothing back there. I got no work, no hope, and no future back there. You don't get it, do you? You people born American, huh? You're the luckiest people in the world, and you don't even know it. You don't have to think twice about it. Me, I have to think about it every day, right? Every day. So I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to go out to that roadblock and turn myself in. It's been nice, all right? Oh, Come nah. on, Jojo. Wait a minute. We'll, we'll think of something. No, man. No, it's no. over. Say much. Jojo, wait a minute. What? I thought of something. Man, what you going to think about that me already haven't thought about, huh? What if you get married? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Who am I going to marry? Ricky. No! Oh, honey, I would in a minute, but I'm saving myself for the man I love. It's all right, darling. Even Ricky. more. Savannah. Well, I'm getting out of Dodge. I've had about as much have jack depression as I can stand. Savannah. What is it? Savannah. No, baby. I don't know what it is you're thinking, but I don't want any part of it. Just step into my office for a moment. 
All right, Seamus. This better be important. I got a plane to catch. Savannah, we have a major situation here. Somebody has got to marry JoJo and fast. Somebody has got to marry JoJo. Honey, you're out of your mind. First of all, what you're proposing is illegal. Second of all, I'm not exactly set up for housekeeping. It's only temporary. The man is desperate. Honey, you know me. You know my lifestyle. I'm already walking a tightrope with my line of work. You're his last chance. We'll never see him again. Look at him. Dateline, Key West. A federal immigration operation backed up traffic for miles on US-1 for the sixth straight day today. Merchants complained about the effect on tourism and... It's boring, isn't it? It's news, news, Al, and you got a deadline. <sighs> yeah, I know, but still, it's duller than dirt. Got no fire. No. Hell, ain't even got smoke. And what's this really about, boy? To tell you the truth, it's about keeping JoJo in this country. That's what it's about. <laughs> What's so special about him? There's a million a day just like him. Do anything to get in and stay. Yeah, I know there's a million, but I only know one of them. His name is JoJo, and he's a friend of mine. You know that. A friendship can't do jack for him now. They sure as hell gonna make an example out of him. Exactly. It's not fair. Fair? What's that got to do with it? Now you take JoJo here. Some people just as soon send this immigrant butt packing. So why don't they just put a no vacancy sign on the Statue of Liberty then, huh? It's coming, little Irish. There's a whole nation of immigrants. But you can't close the door on the idea. It's ideas that people live and die for. Now, you write that. You get people to think it again, boy. Yeah. You get overtime if your shift goes past 4.30. Howard, can we talk? Yeah. We need to keep our channels open, a clear frequency, a common vibration. What the hell are you talking about? What I'm trying to say is that the people at Key West, they're my people. I can help. I speak their language. And what language is that? What language is that? Mm -hmm. It's the language of the heart. Well, I speak the language of the U.S. government, and if I perceive that anyone is trying to interfere with my operation, I'm going to make it my business to be sure that he gets put in jail. Understand that language? You should try yoga. You know, I'm going to count to five, and then I want you out of my sight. this guy kidding? What the hell is going on? Okay, just hold it up. This isn't a road, you know. Now pull it over and shut off the engine or else go to jail. Hey, you boys are doing a great job now. A great job. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, I just want to come down here and tell you how much I appreciate it. I do. I appreciate you keeping all this foreign riffraff from sneaking in here. Back of the line, oh, buddy. Hey, come on, come on, now, look here, look here. You ain't gonna find nothing illegal in that truck of mine. And me, I'm a full-blooded American citizen. So look, look, as one American to another, I was thinking maybe you just let me sneak on by, you know? Yeah, I, see, I got this bar back in town, Gumbo. Maybe you heard of it? And, boy, I am running low on supplies, let me tell you. One sad story after another. Move it. Come, come on, come on, man. Back you're, there. You're interfering with commerce, man. You're interfering with the American dream. Don't turn away from me, fool. Cody, ain't you got some kind of pull here? I'm sorry, Gumbo. We're kind of caught between a rock and a hard head. Oh, man, what, what this government moron? What right he got to come in here treating people this way, giving me all this kind of grief? I know where you're coming from. I am coming from my emptied out, no customer, no beer bar, damn it. It's cool. Good to see you. Reverend, one more. 
You got the ring. Yeah, I got it. Well, don't lose it. I mean, I have a palm leaf, man. If I lose it, I can make you another one. Palm leaf? Made you a wedding pie. Come on, wait, man. That don't look nothing like me. Well, I did the best I could considering the situation. Seamus, man, you flash the thing one more time, all right? Listen, you're going to want to capture every moment on film of this wonderful occasion. Are you ready for the bride? Besides, it'll help us in case we run into any problems. We'll use this as evidence. He's ready. It's not going working. No, I'm not ready. Here comes the bride. Look, man, if I faint, catch me, all right? <laughs> you can count on it, buddy. Hunter! Excellent. <laughs> Nicoletta the <laughs> Inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't usually say this, but you done good. Hey, sugar. Oh, yeah, I do. I know you do, baby, but not just yet. Shall we begin? We're gathered here this evening to join this man in this world. I'd like to make a toast to Savannah. You saved my life, girl. No, baby, I didn't exactly save it. Yes, really. This is my life now, here with all my friends. This place is a part of me, and I'm a part of it. Thank you, girl. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. Done that night. Nice. Y'all finish up all that key lime pie now. I'm going to kiss the bride. Hit, hit. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, newlyweds. Unfortunately, we have serious doubts about the legality of this union. See you tomorrow. See, I knew it was too good to be true right here. Jojo. Jo Look, Savannah, they're onto us. It's not going to work, all right? It will work. We can make it work. No, Savannah, it's not going to work, right? They're onto us, and they're going to stay on us until they ship my butt Jojo. back to the Bahamas. Jojo, What? What, Savannah? How bad do you want this? Savannah, I want this real bad, all right? See, I built my whole life around this. This American dream of mine. You know, every, when I was a little boy, right, I'd go sit out on the beach, and I'd be thinking, I'd be thinking and looking out over the ocean, wondering what on the other side of that ocean, right? And you know what I see, girl? I see a chance. That's all, Savannah, just a chance. See, because the difference here is that everything is possible, right? Whatever it is you want it to be, it's all possible here. Okay, baby. Let's get going. What side of the bed do I sleep on? Oh, uh, the right. What do I like for breakfast? Oh, hell, I don't know. Pineapple? No, baby. I don't eat breakfast. You don't eat breakfast? No, sugar. What do you eat? I eat in the afternoon when I wake up. Annie, get in here. Did you see this? Yes. I haven't slept for three nights trying to deal with this problem. Doesn't anybody know that? I know. I'm trying to establish some kind of dialogue with these federal turkeys, am I not? You are. And what kind of thanks do I get? None. God, look at this. Look at this. Does this make things any better? No, it does not. This completely undercuts all my efforts. Completely? Get those two in here. Hey, y'all. Can anybody hear me? This ain't no Christian science reading room. Quiet down. What is so interesting in that paper? 
Seamus wrote a real stern article. The boy do good? Yeah, little fella's article makes a lot of sense. Yeah, our rights are being violated. Sometimes the letter of the law must bow to the greater good of the people. I heard that. When government is no longer of the people and for the people, the people should rise up and reclaim their rights. Damn tootin', and if they don't give us our rights, then we ought to make our own country. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 I don't know, Gummer. We could get in a lot of trouble for doing that. Shut up, you little wuss. No guts, no glory. Yeah. We're not anarchists. Then tell me what you are. We're concerned citizens. We're all concerned citizens, but I need everyone's support here. That's just what King George would probably say to Thomas Paine. Well, you're no Thomas Paine. What you are is a pain in the ass. What we are is the press, and we stand by the story. Now, the boy here wrote it as he saw it. The problem is the federal government has overstepped its bounds, and you are letting them. I'm not letting anyone do anything. I'm trying to ease us through a potentially volatile situation. Hell, ain't nothing easy about the situation here, Mayor. Now I think it's time to take off the kid gloves and stop playing hardball with these suckers. I agree. Well, thank you for your advice, gentlemen, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Agent Howard. Madam Mayor. Please, come in. They were just leaving. What is all this? Well, in light of increasing hostilities on the roadblock, the fact that your sheriff seems to be from another planet, and now, this inflammatory editorial, we are declaring a state of martial law. You can't do that. Yes, I can. In view of your ineffectual leadership, we have been directed to take over. Agent Howard, look, I have tried to work with you, but this is the last straw. You can't take over my office. Watch me. Annie! I'm not having any problems over that program. Agent Howard? Excuse me. Seamus O'Neill, the meteor. Oh, yeah, you wrote that article. That's a real barn burner of a story. Unfortunately, it doesn't help make my job any easier. Yeah, well, how can you justify this operation? You've practically crippled this island looking for a few illegal aliens who haven't hurt anyone. You think they haven't hurt anyone, but illegal immigration is a serious problem. Well, you one of those folks who thinks that we should open up our borders and let everybody come on in? Of course not, but you're still making it very hard for a few deserving people to stay here. Citizenship is an earned right, a privilege, not a gift. Hey, hey, whatever happened to give us your tired, give us your poor? I don't make the laws, and this is a legal operation, and anybody who interferes will be dealt with. And I hope that's clear to everybody. Excuse me. Have a nice day. Tempers flared again last night at the US-1 roadblock when angry citizens protesting the endless delays in and out of Key West confronted federal authorities. No arrests were made when a small Hispanic dummy was burned in effigy, but locals seem to be preparing to take even stronger well, action. how do I look? You look like an American. Like a very tired American. You want some coffee? Oh, no, 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 no more coffee. You know, I always thought I'd be up half the night from a wedding night, but I didn't think I'd be studying for a test. Okay, baby. Pick a category. Oh, come on, Savannah. We've been over every damn category for the past 12 hours. Okay, favorite dessert? Your favorite dessert is cream brulee. That's right, and your favorite dessert is bread pudding with raisins, although you don't normally order dessert seasons. Summer, what other season is there in Key West? That's right, and your favorite season is winter, although you've never had the pleasure of experiencing one. Yeah, I'm still dreaming of a white Christmas. Your favorite domestic movie is Do the Right Thing. Yeah, I like that Spike Lee. And your favorite foreign movie is A Man and a Woman. Man and a Woman, right? Yeah, that's mine too. Yeah, and your favorite American one is Casablanca. That's right. All right, let's speed things up. It's time for the lightning round. Your parents are deceased, my parents. Mama Corrine live, Papa Jack passed away. That's right, pet. Uh, Cecil the frog. Virginity. Gone to Bernard, backseat Halloween, sometime in the mid to late 70s. Girl, what other married couple know this much about each other? Baby, baby, in case you haven't noticed, we're not exactly the typical married couple. We are a married couple that the government would very much like to split up. Okay, sweetheart, stand up. Are you ready? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, here we go, tree. Banyan. Perfume. You don't wear none, never. Underwear. I don't like to wear it. I like to be free. Automobile. I don't have one. I have a scooter. I don't really care if we are stirring up a beehive, Sheriff. I've got a job to do, and I expect your cooperation. Or else I will take over your office as well, all right? 
No, I don't want excuses, all right? I want action. Is that clear? No. Excuse I me. I run this town now, all right? Excuse me, I'd like my desk. Uh, put three more men on that road, okay? I need my desk. Why don't you take the day off? Uh, do some shopping. This is my office. This is my town. I want you out. You have no authority over me. Well, my sheriff has the authority to arrest trespassers. Well, miss, I will see your sheriff, and I will raise you a dozen federal marshals if you want to play hardball. Are you threatening me? That is not a threat. I will have you arrested if you don't leave right now. Miss, would you sit down, please? And could you wait outside? Hi, oh, baby. Hi, oh, baby. What is your full name, please? Savannah Nabuli. Somebody's karma just ran over your dogma. Don't you see what they're doing to us? They've taken over. We've become irrelevant. Yeah, I know. It's a drag. But then I say, what can we do? We are just links in a chain. It seems some of us are weaker links than others. Would you please sit down, Mr. Nabuli? Now, you understand the purpose of these proceedings, don't you, Mr. Nabuli? Yes, sir. I do. Fine. We'll proceed then. doesn't wear swimming suits. Now, according to your wife's 1040 for last year, she reported a sizable income. Exactly what does she do? Just like it said on the farm, man, she's an entertainer. Well, what form of entertainment does she engage in? Personal services. Right. What are her parents' names? Her mother's name is Corinne. Her father's name is Jack. Living or deceased? Mom alive, Papa passed away. Has she ever been married? Yeah, man, yesterday. Don't be a smart guy. Smart guys go to live in the Bahamas. All right, I'm sorry. Now, look. I got to hand it to you. You've done your homework. And I could stand here and I could ask you questions all day. And sooner or later, I trip you up. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let you go for now. But I will catch you. Believe me. Can I leave now? Here, a long face in this room. It's me. I figured you must be letting those bastards get you down. I give up. You can't do that. You took an oath. It says in the town charter, it says the mayor cannot give up. 
Yeah, well, what's my alternative? Ritual suicide? <laughs> Might be worth a try. But if it didn't work, you sure wouldn't get no second chance. And I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm in a room with no doors. No way out. Well, let's get you back to your center, girl. Now, you tell me, why did you become mayor? Got more votes than anybody else? Don't mess with me. I'm about to give you a rare gift. The benefit of my vast wisdom. I became mayor to affect change, to preserve our lifestyle into the 21st century. Bull, and that's your campaign slogan. Now, what's the real reason? I wanted to protect this place. Why? Because I love it. And now his people are hurting, so what are you going to do about it? Whatever it takes. What's the matter, baby? Are they still there? Yeah, they've been there all night. Well, I did sort of have a date tonight, but I guess that's out of the question. Kind of hard to practice your trade with the feds on your trail. I'm sorry to bring all this trouble down on you, Savannah. Oh, baby, it's no trouble. You know I'd do anything for you. They told me that if we get caught in a sham marriage, you could get a fine or even go to prison. Honey, don't you worry about it, you know. I run those kind of risks every day. Yeah, but then you're doing it for yourself, right? Can I should have do that for me? Meaning what? The dream is over, Savannah. I can't keep putting my friends through all this trouble. I don't understand. Joe, where are you going? I'm going to turn myself in, right? Thank you for everything. Jojo? Jojo, wait up. be recognized and that can start with the release of Jojo Napoli if we don't stand by him who's gonna stand by us we are going to fire a shot that will be heard around the world that will declare the conch republic free people, one thing's gonna be the case in this new conch republic. 
Anybody that wants to talk has got the right to talk. So let the mayor speak. People, I want you to think about what we're doing. I want you to think about the consequences of this action. Symbolic or not, this is a serious matter. A declaration of independence means nothing unless each and every one of us is dedicated to seeing this through to the bitter end. I'm dedicated. If you want to fight this, you have my support. For though we are few, we can be ferocious. Deep, deep trouble. Pay double overtime, but we will get this next edition out. O'Neill, Seamus O'Neill, S E A M U S. Not Seamus, Seamus. I work for the Meteor, Key West, Florida. I don't care if you've never heard of the Meteor before, you're gonna hear of them now. Trust me. Uh -huh. We made the front page of The Times, The Tribune, The Herald, and The Chronicle. Um, so, hello. Can you hold on a second, please? Thank you. Looks like every major paper across the eastern seaboard is jumping on this story. Look at this. It's all about us. It's all over the country. <laughs> this should be embarrassing enough to get their attention. The power of the press can make anybody red face the naked. Ah, this will humiliate them into submission. You should be very proud of yourself, O'Neill. Guys, I got a byline in the Times. I got a sidebar on page 14. <laughs> I'm national. <laughs> News Hound has hit a home run. Jojo is about to get on a plane. We got work to do. Mr. Howard, can we have a minute? You got 30 seconds. I'm sorry, Savannah. I'm under a federal restraining order. You know, a whole lot of people are asking for a lot of trouble for one that came in who's not supposed to be here no way. Now, don't you go talking that way, baby. And don't you forget, I have a perfect right as an American citizen to marry whoever I want. Savannah, you've done enough, yeah? Enough is having you stay here. Enough is having you be an American citizen. That's enough. Time's up. He's out of here. Remember when I said I could only marry for love, yeah? Or maybe I did. Come on, let's go. Get out of Hey! Hey! Jojo! Hey, wait a minute! Jojo! Hey, Castro, listen to me. There's a media circus converging on this town that's gonna make your little operation crawl back under the rock it came out from. Read it and weep. I'll call the public information office, all right? Yeah, in the meantime, open that van. 
The Conk Republic grants Mr. Nabuli asylum. What are you people, crazy? Yeah. Only in the good sense of the word. I would be violating everything that I believe in if I opened that door. <sighs> Sheriff. The keys, please. You're still illegal. Jojo, why don't you say a few words? Oh, uh, you know, it's funny. On this day when this small island is no longer part of America, I'm finally starting to feel like an American. Boy, this is my home now. And I'm not ever going to leave. Whatever happens, Chocho, you needn't worry. The Conk Republic grants you citizenship. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Chocho. <laughs> Sheriff. Uh, inventory our supplies. We may need to ration our food and water in case they cut us off from the mainland completely. Yes, ma'am. Cut us off. Okay. Hello, Senator. Yes, uh... Yes, it is a huge amount of publicity. The London Observer. What? I got a byline in there, too? Yes, Senator, we will surrender. Yes, Senator, we will take back the request for foreign aid. <sighs> yes, Senator, we will drop all this nonsense, as you call it. What are you saying? No, we won't. But we want something in return. Now you're talking. You tell him, Mayor. We'd like US-1 open and the free flow of traffic restored. Great, in that case, we drop our secession. We what? Would you shut up? I uh, Senator, there's one more thing. We'd like you to sponsor a private bill so that Mr. Jojo Nabuli may stay in our country as a hardship case. Thank you. Thank you. Jojo! Yes. Jojo, buddy! <laughs> Looks like you won't be going anywhere. All right! Good work, Mayor. Thanks. <laughs> yes! I don't know. I figured this time the South really was going to rise again. Oh, it did. We got a rise out of the whole country. We just kind of fell back down again. Why don't you frame it? Hmm? Frame it. Yeah, I, uh, I think I will. <laughs> Boy, you holding on to that thing like it's the only one you ever going to get. <laughs> well, we're always revolting. Keeps the blood boiling. I'd like to propose a toast to my friend, Jojo. May you someday have a U.S. passport. <laughs> Drinks. Drinks for all my friends. Oh. Agent Howard. Call me Enrique. I thought your first name was Agent. What brings you deep into enemy territory? I'm waving my white flag. You know, I've been 16 years in the service, but I have never seen such powerful friends, especially the people in this room. This will keep you out of trouble for a while. They've extended your visa. The rest is up to you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> now I know how the British must have felt. I've always heard about you people down here. Amazing, it's all true. Must be something in the water. Congratulations, baby. Well, um, I guess you don't have to worry about being married to me tomorrow. Huh? Well, I don't know, sugar. I kind of like being Savannah Nabuli. Sort of sings, doesn't it? <laughs> For the gang from Beverly Hills, this has been the most exciting year of their lives. Now, you can share the memories of 90210 senior year from start to finish. Hang out with the gang from West Beverly every Tuesday and Wednesday night at 8, 7 central, all summer long on Fox.